always, if you haven't paused the video yet and attempted the question, please do so now. Our first step is to draw a picture. A pretty basic picture. Here we have Sue behind a van, and she's going a little bit too fast, and she hits the brakes, and we have to calculate or figure out whether she's going to end up rear-ending this van. And so, to begin this problem, we're going to let this position here, where Sue is initially located, we're going to call that initial position equal to zero. And that means that for the van, the initial position is going to be 155, since the question states that the van is 155 meters ahead of Sue. We'll also note that the initial velocity of Sue is 30 meters per second, and the initial velocity of the van is 5 meters per second. And then the acceleration is stated as negative 2 meters per second squared, and the van is not accelerating. Now, of course, there are a few formulas from kinematics, but it turns out that this one is going to be particularly useful for us. And the reason is as follows. This x in the equation represents the final position of an object that's moving. And if these two objects, Sue and the van, if they are to collide, that would mean that their final positions would have to be the same. That's sort of what the definition of a collision is. Two objects share the same final position and therefore collide. So what we'll do is we'll use this equation, we'll substitute in all the known values that we have, and then we'll set the final positions equal to each other. Notice that for Sue, we have x minus 0, so that can just be simplified to x. And also for the van, we have a 0 plugged in for the acceleration, and 1 half times 0 times t squared will become 0, so that's going to cancel out. So now the Sue equation is already solved for the final position. Let's get the van equation solved for the final position. That way we can set them equal to each other by just adding 155 to both sides. And so now that we've done that, we're going to take the final position of Sue and the final position of the van, and we're going to set them equal to each other to figure out if there's indeed going to be a collision. We could simplify this a little bit. 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1. And we do have a quadratic equation because we have a t squared as well as a t. So that means we have to gather all the terms over to one side so that the other side is equal to 0. A little bit of algebra here. So we're going to add 1t squared to both sides of the equation. And in addition, we'll subtract 30t from both sides of the equation. Note that the 5t minus 30t will become a minus 25t. The left side will become 0. And so now we have to use the quadratic formula to solve this for t. And of course the quadratic formula is right here on the screen. Might want to pause this and just refresh your memory on it. In our case, notice that the a is going to be a positive 1, the b is going to be a negative 25, and then the c is going to be a positive 155. So we'll go ahead and plug into the formula. And so there it is. And this turns out to have two real solutions. We're going to get 11.4 seconds as well as 13.6 seconds. Now, of course, the collision would occur at the earlier time, and so, indeed, they will collide at 11.4 seconds. If they didn't collide, what you would have gotten is an imaginary number. In other words, underneath your square root, you would have gotten a negative result, and we remember from math that the square root of a negative number is imaginary. So if that had happened, then there would not have been a collision. But because we got a real answer for time, then there is indeed a collision, unfortunately for Sue. Now, the question says, if yes, if there is a collision, determine how far into the tunnel they will collide and at what time. We already figured out the time, of course. So to figure out how far into the tunnel they collide, we just go back to our position equation. We could use the one for Sue. If you use the one for the van, that would also work. So all we have to do is plug in the value of the time that we just found into this equation, and that's going to give us the final position of both Sue and the van, in other words, where the collision occurs. And when you calculate that, you should get approximately 212 meters. And so that is the final position, and therefore how far into the tunnel the two automobiles will collide. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. If you liked it, please subscribe so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.